out that this has become such a corrupt uh, commission that there's people out there that actually take a poll on who's going next. And so some of those people are probably watching TV right now, and I just want to maybe put my guess at Coons and Aronson. Thanks. <laughs> my name's Ana Rodriguez. I live in Palm Beach County, um, between Forest Hill Boulevard and Southern. Um, I heard some people from the grand jury saying that um, we need to remain positive and that um, we should look at the future, not look at the past. Uh, no, 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 buddy, not so fast. I, I'm pretty sure not just me, but I don't like speaking for other people. Um, I demand investigations, major investigations. And actually, I really don't think that y'all should actually have a say in how the process works because you all are kind of in the spotlight so I really don't understand how it's possible that you all get to vote on how this investigation is going to go. I think it should be imposed on you, pretty much. Um, the other thing I want to say is that the fact that everyone on this commission is so pro-business is going to naturally um, lead to corruption. I think that that's like the nature of the beast there. So. There's definitely always issues with conflict of interest because of that, and I, 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 people aren't fools. It's very transparent that in Palm Beach County, most of the commissioners have some conflict of interest, um, and you can see that by the development and the way that it's irresponsibly being, uh, um, the process of it being very irresponsible. Um, uh, so I know that everyone, that a few of you guys say that you're not, you know, guilty of this or guilty of that. I don't think that it's that confusing. Um, I'm pretty sure that everyone here is guilty of something. Um, and um, developers, the energy industry, a power plant in the Everglades, a biotech city in Jupiter. This is unbelievable. It's ludicrous. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say was regarding the Sunshine Law, which I believe is a law that states that the public needs to, there needs to be a public hearing in the decision making process. I'm finishing up. Yes, thank you. Though I do think that this is a very inappropriate time to cut from three minutes to two minutes. Here, here. Um, uh, the Sunshine Law states that there should be public, a public uh, participation in the decision making process. Um, I think that it would be very nice if that actually had some kind of weight, some kind of value, because quite often the public comes in here to comment about things, and everyone can tell that y'all already have your minds made up on the issues, so how is that public participation? Nobody in the public has a say. People in the business community have a say. That's very obvious, and that is corruption. Thank you very much. Um, Allison. Ramper Sad and Mr. Tolkas after that. Good afternoon. My name is Allison Ramper Sad. I just moved to Delray Beach about two and a half years ago. I uh, thank you for giving me uh, the opportunity to make a few remarks. Um, I have only very recently begun to pay more attention to what's happening here in Palm Beach County because I live here. Uh, I've always known that there's been a lot of corruption in Washington, D.C., but I guess I just ignored the fact that it starts at the bottom and works its way up. Um, the only thing that I'm prepared to really comment on right now is the Office of uh, Inspector General, and I would like to urge you to please uh, listen to what your constituents are saying that we need someone who is 100% independent, who does not answer to you in any way, and uh, to also remember that we are the ones who pay your salary, and I would urge you to take a harder look at some of the decisions you make for this county. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Tolkis, after that is um, uh, Christina Morrison Pierce. Oh, we did? I, yeah, gave her hey. come back. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little bit ill. Uh, I'm Panayoti Cholkis from Lake Worth, Florida, and I'm co-chair of the Palm Beach County Environmental Coalition. Um, 
I want to agree with one of the things the state attorney said, that it's not always just you all. Um, I was reminded of the business development board and Larry Pelton and Greg Fagan and the way that whole thing went down. So there's other folks out there as well. Um, you know, when Mazzalotti went down in large part for his relations to uh, Palm Beach Aggregates and the FPNL project, um, I know Coons, you're familiar with what I'm talking about. You were also in involved with that. Uh, we said revisit that relationship immediately, figure out why that zoning happened, and uh, Ms. Neiman said that it was impossible for us to do that. Um, and then Newell went down, and we said revisit that zoning that connected those two, and they said no, we can't do that. And then McCarty went down, now all connected on that same land scandal that allowed the Palm Beach aggregates and Florida Power and Light to jeopardize public health, safety, and quality of the environment. This place a thousand feet away from the Loxahatchee National Wildlife Refuge, which is one of the last functional headwaters of the Everglades. One more indictment and we'll have an incarcerated majority. Is that what we're waiting for? The primary uh, reason that we're here is, is corrupt business and political practices and decisions that were made, not small scale, not mismanagement, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about thousands of acres and millions of dollars, impacts, permanent impacts to the place we live and the communities we live in. You know, people are spending longer in prison for uh, petty burglary charges. So why would we take you seriously until you're addressing the wrongs that have been created? You know, we witnessed the worst abuse in Florida zoning and land use history, probably since the city was born on stolen native land. And this commission has already wreaked havoc on Western Palm Beach County, watched the economy tank because of overdevelopment and real estate greed, and now you want trust without making amends? That doesn't make any sense. If you all want credibility in this county from the public, revoke the criminal zoning changes now. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, yes. Mr. Ch um, so, Mr. Wiseman, if we were to decide to move forward, and I guess Denise, you're going to part of this is draft an ordinance that creates the office of the Inspector General. Yes, uh, our recommendation from the uh, county attorney's office, and I believe embraced by administration, is to have all the ordinances establishing an ethics commission, an ethics code and um, the uh, Inspector General's Office applicable locally enacted by the end of this year. And we would ask the board to support that time schedule set forth in here no sooner, as mentioned er by an earlier speaker. I would, I would well, by the end of this year? Uh, right. For your all the public, public hearing, hearing process, December, right, be completely enacted by the I would the make end a motion to do that. There's a motion second by Commissioner Aronson. Commissioner Vanna. I just, no, I was going to second it. And, I well, uh, and just to follow up on the, this is the immediate step. The longer term step is what Commissioner Aronson was talking about, which is to direct the staff to create a charter amendment to go on the November 10 ballot to, with input from all, to create a countywide independent audit. And Commissioner, that's also set forth in our recommendations that we would have that language by June 2010 for. Um, to, to place on the ballot in November. And, okay. and, Commissioner and that's Mark included in my motion also. Commissioner Marcus, I yeah. wanted to know whether or not you'd add that into the motion. Yes, that's in my motion okay. also. Another can I, thing. Can I say one thing? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know, I've been involved in Tallahassee when we did changes, and I'm, I'm going to bring this up because I think it's really important that if we're going to put it in the charter, we get it right. So it is a good thing that we would do ours first and see how, you know, we may actually end up with everyone together wanting to alter it in some way to, to tweak it before we actually get the language together that we would want to put on the charter? Is that possible? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, the road to hell is paved with good intentions that have some un-